Hi, and welcome to the AYTM.com dashboard tutorial video. Your dashboard allows you to manage all your surveys in one place. You can view all surveys you've drafted, the ones that are in progress, as well as those that have been completed. Running surveys will display the percentage of completed responses they have in real time. You can also clone, archive, and delete surveys from your dashboard. In the upper left corner, you'll see your current balance on your account. When you roll over it, you'll see when your funds will expire, and by clicking Learn More, you'll be taken to a page that displays your transaction history. For all your launched surveys, you'll see the dates they were ordered and completed, how much they each cost, how many respondents you had for each survey, as well as percent fulfillment. Percent fulfillment is how many respondents you had out of the total you wanted. Additionally, you can preview what your survey looked like to respondents, as well as take a look at your stats. On this same page, you'll also see Purchase Service and Other Operations. Purchase Service includes information about your subscription, as well as any special services which may have been unlocked for you, such as Personality Radar, if you're creating customer personas. Other Operations includes things like credits our team may have given to your account. If you do have a credit, you'll see when it was given, how much you have left, and when it'll expire. Back in the dashboard, you'll see that you can easily create a brand new survey. Choose Panel Survey if you want to send a survey to our panel of respondents, or choose List Survey if you want to send a survey to your own email list, or even post your survey to your social media. You can learn more about Panel and List Surveys in our other tutorials. Over here on the right, you'll see your time zone. All dates for surveys, such as when they've been modified or completed, will be displayed in your account's selected time zone. If the time zone appears to be incorrect, click Change, and you'll be taken to the company information page of your profile. You can easily update your information there. If you have any surveys running right now, click Refresh Data here at the top, and everything will be updated accordingly. Below, you'll see three categories, Surveys in Progress, Drafts, and Completed Surveys. You can easily expand or collapse each category simply by clicking on its header for ease of viewing all your surveys. Each individual survey will have a list survey or panel survey icon next to it on the left, so you know what you're looking at. A list survey will have an icon that kind of looks like a stack of business cards. A panel survey looks like a star. For surveys in progress, you'll see the name of the survey, which you can edit at any time. You have up to 100 characters, including spaces. You can also view percent fulfillment and a link to real-time statistics as they're streaming in. This cog will show you a wealth of resources as well. For a list survey, you'll see a link to the survey which you can email or post to social media. You'll see how long the survey has been in field, how many completes you have, as well as your survey ID, which you'll need to know if you have any questions about your survey for our support team. You can stop your survey anytime, preview it, clone it, launch directly to Facebook, or embed it in a web page. If you click Check Progress, you'll be taken to the real-time stats page. For survey drafts, you'll see the header also has a folder icon. When you roll over it, you'll see the option to Add New Folder. This comes in handy when you need to organize surveys by projects, clients, or any other logic. When you create a new folder, you can easily rename it by clicking on the pencil icon or double-clicking on the existing title. You'll have up to 40 characters. To expand or collapse a folder and see what surveys are in it, click on the header or on this up-down arrow. By dragging on the gray tab to the right, you can rearrange your folders however you like. And if you want to delete a folder, all you have to do is click on the X. If your folder contains surveys, you'll be asked to confirm the deletion. At this point, you may decide to cancel, confirm the deletion of the folder and everything in it, or to delete the folder itself while keeping the surveys and putting them on the main level. For individual survey drafts, you'll see the survey title, up to 100 characters long, which you can edit by clicking on the pencil icon as you roll over the survey title. You'll see how much your draft currently costs, as well as when you last modified it. Clicking on the boxed pencil icon at the end here will take you to your survey editor so you can update your survey draft. The cog icon will show you many of the same options you see in the Surveys in Progress section, with a few differences. You can edit the target market to better reflect the people you want to target. You can edit the survey, which will take you to the survey editor, and you can launch your survey. You can also easily delete your survey from here. Last but not least, we have the Completed Survey section. As always, folder and survey titles are still editable here. As you roll over the survey title, you'll see the pencil icon which you can click to edit. You'll see the date your survey completed and a link to your stats page. When you click on the cog, you'll see some familiar choices with a few differences. 
For example, we have Stat Report, which will take you to the survey statistics page. If you have Personality Radar enabled to build customer personas, you'll see a link to it here as well. As with the other survey categories, you can always rearrange your survey folders and individual surveys by dragging and dropping these gray tabs on the right. And that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and feel free to ping us with questions or to set up a personal demo.